the Slugterra Institute of Technology welcomes you, sir. I'm thrilled to show you what your generous donation is funding. SIT has a long tradition of groundbreaking research, and here are two of our top scientists. Tobias here has made some fascinating inroads in the field of gravitation. Doesn't that lift your spirits? <laughs> hey, uh... <coughs> Once I work the bugs out of my zero-G machine, Slug Terra will own the air. Catherine's ideas about Sonics are worth listening to. Sound is invisible, but its effects can be powerful. <laughs> what about me, Professor? Aren't you gonna show Mr. Moneybags my invention? Aha. Uh -huh. Dr. Kolowski has been researching artificial slug technology. Sir. Don't pay any attention to Quentin's unfounded research. Let me show you more about my work. I thought we told you never to come back here, you and your crazy robots. Oh, you'll never get rid of me. Your anti-gravity machine will never amount to anything, Tobias. <laughs> Will your pathetic sound amplifier? <laughs> now, let's talk about the future. My future, to be specific. We need help. As of this moment, all research will be directed by me. Eli Shane, we need you now. The only science in this cavern is my science. Behold! My Robo Slugs! Furia Cavern. Always wanted to see this place. Ah, science is vastly overrated. Pronto has no need for facts. I go with my gas. <laughs> and my gas tells me it's past my lunchtime. If these so-called scientists are such geniuses, where did they put all the restaurants? Where did they put all the people? And I don't see any slugs either. The slugs are all hiding. I'm Catherine McGregor. You're the one who called about the rogue scientist. Quinton's always been a little quirky. This time, he's crossed the line. Anyone try to stand up to this guy? We're scientists, not slug slingers. That's why we called you. Yeah, good point. I envision a world where the only slugs people use are my robo-slugs. To that end, anyone found with a live slug will be punished. I don't have to listen to this madness. I'm not finished yet! Yeah, actually, I think you are. I was hoping we could reason this out, but you're kind of beyond reason, aren't you? I prefer to say that I'm beyond your understanding, Eli Shane. Oh, yes. I know who you are. Then you know how I work. I'm gonna give you one chance to do the right thing and apologize to all these people. Otherwise... Otherwise, we do all? That's right. Oh, this will be fun. that nasty thing right off your shoulder. I think you just insulted my slugs. Bad idea. Species, Infernus. Attack modes, flash fire, Infernus, Nova Claw. Downloading countermeasures to RoboSlug Brain Matrix. <laughs> 
Before you began, I've downloaded databases on every slinger who's ever shot a slug. You, your friends, even your father, the great Will Shay. He'd have beaten you in a minute. Might take me too. <laughs> your father was a slug lover, just like you. <laughs> He successfully used that identical arachnet move in 17 different duels. Your attempt, however, has failed, and my robo-slugs will continue to triumph over your weak, disgusting slugs and tired old tactics. Then I guess I'll have to show you some new tactics. Uh, what? Uh, no match found. What, what is he? Smart slug slinging will beat mad science every time, Quentin. It's over. Over? Ha! You won't believe what I'll bring when I come back. Um, you're still here. Huh? Ha! That's right! You slink away, scoundrel, while your batters... <laughs> oh, uh, while your batters look for lunch. We better get ready for this guy. I sure don't think he's gone for good. He's probably back at his secret lab. Get real, Cord. You've been watching too many fiction vids. Not all scientists have secret labs. The great Eli Shane and his wonderful slugs thinks he has all the answers. Well, wait till he sees what mad science can do. I'll show him big like he's never seen. God, there must be some food around here. I, I, what is, what? Hang on, quick! Ah! I bet he's got some kind of super doomsday weapon he's gonna spring on us. Ha! Let him bring his super weapon of doom. Once Pronto fills his mighty stomachs, he will be the match of any foe. Now, a more pressing problem. Did anyone bring a can opener? And my day just got worse. Oh, you have no idea how bad it's gonna get. Now! Take that thing down fast! Eli? Plan B? Stay alive! Hit! <laughs> Crawler slug, fireball defense. <laughs> Flopper slug. <laughs> no defense needed. I had to try. He's gonna have a weak spot. <laughs> Cheap shot, Trixie, but I don't have any weak spots. While you and your pathetic meatbag slugs are just one enormous weak spot! So what now? Hate to say it, but... Retreat! <laughs> That's it! Run, slug lovers! Run 
from my superior technology. You see, not even Eli Shane can protect you from me. Well, that was humiliating. Nothing to be ashamed about. Quentin's got awesome tech, but that doesn't make him better. My hop rock couldn't even get near the guy. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, uh, why are you beating that innocent rock there, Pronto? Perhaps I should pit this stubborn can against something harder, like your thick troll skull. Glad you made it away safely. But you aren't safe here with all that banging. Yeah. It, it, Quiet, Quiet, Pronto! Pronto. Uh -huh. I've got a place nearby where we can regroup. Ooh, a secret lab, perhaps? Oh, please. Uh, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> All us scientists have secret labs. So what's the deal with Quentin? He really hates slugs. He doesn't just hate them. He's terrified of them. Really? That's good to know. Ever since the accident when we were kids. It was during a field trip to the slug biology department. Quentin always considered a locked door as a challenge. He was in there for two days before they found him. He was never the same since. And all his science has been about finding a way to live without slugs. Yeah, slugophobia. There's gotta be an angle there. Ah, exasperating recalcitrant can! You frustrate me with your tenacious kin perimeter! Okay... Pronto, you're a genius! He is? I am? Oh, yes! Of course I am! I think I figured out a way to beat Quentin, but we're gonna need some high-tech help. I believe we have that covered. And even more importantly, we need you to buy us some time. I've got a few ideas in that regard. This is boring. What's the point of being superior if I can't lord it over everyone? Eli Shane! I'm ready for round three! Are you? He's busy right now. But I've got something for you. Ah, again with the anti-grav? When are you gonna learn? That's nothing compared to me! Uh, yeah. Even have to waste a robo slug on your pebble. As smart as you think you are, you still end up throwing rocks like a savage. Pitiful. Run, little savage. Run! You can't escape the superior man! That's all you have to remember. But don't worry, Noodle. You're gonna do great. <laughs> I have my doubts that such a spineless slug can be our key to victory. Every slug is useful, Pronto. Even floppers. Tobias is down. I'm going in. Remember, just stall him. Don't try and be a hero. And don't get yourself hurt. Excellent advice. Ugh. Back to the drawing board! <laughs> What's wrong, Tobias? Nothing clever to say. I've got something to say. Oh, this, this will, will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> That must be Kate. Don't ever get into a shouting match with her. Cord, you about done? Good to go. Saddle up, guys. Time to take this big brain bully to school. Shane Gang style. Let me go, Quentin! Your harpy's voice was even less pleasant at 400 decibels. Put her down, Quentin! <laughs> Mecha Mech is gonna kick your Mecha Mech's iron butt!
Drop her easy and raise your hands, Quentin. We're shutting you down. <laughs> In that thing? I've been perfecting this suit for years. How long did you spend cobbling that wreck together? Five minutes? Forty-five minutes, smart guy. It will take me less time than that to disassemble it. Critical systems intact. Barely. with a triple combo. Ice attack. Infernus defense downloaded. Been there, done that. Retargeting. <laughs> Five, Trixie. You know, a thing about slugs is you have to find them, train them, take care of them. Why do all that when you can simply manufacture an endless supply? Which is exactly what I have! Big first coming in, dodge right! No, go left! Uh, my right or, or your right? Trixie, Cord, you've got another arm. Use it. <laughs> oh, man. Can I worry now? Just so you know, this plan has an 87% probability of ending in disaster. Eli's doing his part. We have to focus on ours. The question remaining is how much longer I extend your suffering. Come on, come on! Oh, hang on! <laughs> Maybe a little longer. Gyros are burning out. This big baby's not gonna keep walking for long. Well, technically, this is called a death hop. Losing control here! So am I! I am in complete control! <laughs> well, that's just embarrassing. I think I'll put you out of your misery. Try it! <laughs> Points for tenacity! Is it just delusion? Either way, I want to look you in the eye when I break you in two. You thought we were building a robot to beat yours in 45 minutes? How dumb do you think we are? We were just building a can opener. And you were cocky enough to let me get close enough to do this. All yours, Noodle. <laughs> Flopper slug on me! Here, smart guy, where it all began. Where it ends, for you anyway. Gonna draw? Blaster's empty. I used all my slugs to get this far. Come here. I want to look you in the eye when I beat you. <laughs> when you beat me? With your non-existent blaster and your imaginary slugs? Just because my blaster's empty doesn't mean I'm out of slugs. Huh? <laughs> Nice work, guys. You didn't even have.
have to transform. That was sweet, Eli. Glad this thing held together as long as it... <laughs> to say thank you oh well, that's a good start the magistrate's on his way i imagine you'll have volumes to say to him i, I know it's here <laughs> there must be an easier way to open a can of beans all yours. Hey, you're not my lawyer. Figured that out pretty quick. I heard you were smart. And you know, Quentin, I can use a few smart men. in the reserve section, but we'll let you have it for the low price of everything you got. And as a bonus, you get to keep your life. Oh, silent type. You know what they say, silence gives consent. <laughs> now you buy yourself something else! <laughs> I hear there's a new Shane. I want him. One masked troublemaker. You said it. I got mecha sores on my mecha sores. Ah, not to worry, my blistery friend. Pronto has a most secret molonoid remedy. Sarsaparilla. Do I drink the whole thing? You, you drink it? You sure about this, Eli? Sounds like a pretty tough character in there. And my dad never had the chance to train me, but he always said that a Shane never backs down from a challenge. That doesn't mean you have to face it alone. Four against one? Ha! Yes! Allow Pronto to lead the charge! Do not go in there! Come on, guys. Uh, after I render aid to this poor innocent soul, uh, have a Marilla. Are you the one who called me out? Are we gonna duel or? A little young, uh, skinny. Hey, watch it. Oh, but knock need too. <laughs> we'll see how you do with the winnowing. Winnowing? That's some kind of duel? Oh, look, mister, I... Uh -huh. Lady? Uh -huh. Ma'am? Not to be rude, but... Can we just slug this out and be on our way? You're Will Shane's kid. He was a good man. Worthy of the name. We're not gonna duel, are we? 
I'm Eli. Eli Shank. A name's gotta be earned, Knockknees. If you wanna earn yours, come to Dojang Grotto at first glow. Speaking of names, uh, didn't catch yours. Shanai. Eli, that's the unbeatable master. The unwettable who? Where'd she go? The master knows the thousand secrets of slinging. The master's gaze can melt solid rock. The master can remove grape juice from linens and banish the blahs. Okay, the stories may be exaggerated, but one thing is certain, the unbeatable master is the greatest slug slinger who ever lived. She appears at a time of her own choosing to take a single student. She hasn't been seen in 30 years. The master trained every Shane in recorded history. Eh, including... My dad. Real training. This is what I've been wanting since I got the Slug Terra. Oh, let's turn in. Big day for me tomorrow. It's a big day for all Slug Terrans, Eli. Uh, of course it is, yeah. I know, we're early. I couldn't sleep. Didn't want to wake the others. This is a great honor. It's shown of here. What are you doing here? The unbeatable master don't put out the call. Figure I got about as much chance as any. But the master teaches the Shanes. Mostly she do. But... But not just Shanes. Told you. Ow. You have to earn that name with me, Knockknees. I am here to train the most worthy. If that's you, prove it. So, it's a competition. Okay, no problem. Guys, you came. Thanks for the support. Support? We're here to compete. You thought all this was about you? No. <laughs> yeah, kinda. If she doesn't pick you, might as well be one of the gang. That is support, right? Yes, we shall support you by fighting against you. Thanks. Welcome, one and all, to the winnowing. Winnowing is a way of separating grain. The wind carries off the chaff, leaving only the pure kernel. <laughs> Every Molinoid knows this. Now, whoever would be a slug master, stand on this line. Uh... All of you are dismissed. Selfishness and cruelty have no place in a slug master. No, we are not leaving. Not really your choice. Did you see how those slugs were working together? I know. I mean, you do combo moves all the time, but nothing like that. The rest of you, I can dismiss anyone at any time. <laughs> my reasons are my own and my judgment is final. Clear? <laughs> <laughs> then let's see what you got. Um, can you demo that tandem shot again? I'd love to figure out how you did that. I'm not demonstrating here, Knockknees. I'm selecting. Ask again and you'll be the demonstration. Oh, <laughs> got it. When you're finished with your awkward moment, we'll begin the one-on-one -on -one jewels. <sighs> nice one, Eli. <laughs> Begin. You do know this isn't a dance competition, right? Huh? 
Who is that kid? Come on, you call that slug slinging? My own special technique. I call it. <laughs> 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 Catchy name. <laughs> ah, alas, the poor cave troll. Let him down easy. Meant you, Lumpy. Out. You're excused too, shoulders. Ton of heart, but all the subtlety of a train wreck. Exits. I know. To the left. Wait a minute. They think you two should stick around. Got their own reasons, I don't ask. Stay as our guest. Uh. <laughs> nice moves, your majesty. Move them on out the gate. <laughs> Laugh. You're about one inch from following out that gate. But I hit him. They hit him. Slugs are more than ammunition, more than just your little pals. I know, I talk to them all the time. But do you listen? <laughs> You're done too, pigtails. Only one challenger between me and training with the master. Ever seen him before? No, but do me a favor. Get me some payback. Ugh, gross. May the best man win. Oh, I intend to. Take a break, Loki. Twist! <laughs> What's the matter, Eli? Does it bother you that I'm here to train with the unbeatable master? The contest is open to anyone, remember? Then why the disguise? Apologies, but Eli and I are rivals. I didn't want to create a distraction to this ceremony. Hm. Takes quite a bond for a slinger to share his slug's latent delusion power. Even I couldn't see through it. <laughs> That's because he's using a ghoul! And you think just because I've been gone a few years, I don't know what a ghoul is? It's the slinger I'm choosing, not the slug. <coughs> are you okay? I'm fine. Rest yourselves. We'll begin the final duel in one hour. See you then. Not if I have anything to say about it. Master Shanai? Uh, oh, you're meditating. I was sleeping. Sorry. But I, I need to <coughs> warn you. You're sick, aren't you? Never mind me. You got issues with that ghoul slinger. We trusted him once and he betrayed us. He's misguided and dangerous. He's fallen in with Dr. Black. Mm, and perhaps he needs my guidance more than you do. I don't understand. Light, dark, there's a little in all of us. The trick is finding balance. Master, please, you don't know twists like I do. Never <laughs> presume to know the heart of another. Focus on your own inner peace. Are you so sure you know the best path? I thought I did. Indeed. This reminds me of a time some 30 years ago. I had winnowed the applicants to two. One was a promising young Shane named Will. The other was Thaddeus Black. Black and my dad? They were friends? <laughs> not friends, but not yet enemies. They were... Rivals. Each showed unique promise. Your father was rough around the edges, but a natural slinger. And what Thaddeus lacked in slug acumen, he made up for in sheer innovation. But Thaddeus... He lacked connection and respect for slugs and their place in the universe. Will had a reckless streak, but he was the clear choice. But Thaddeus... Something happened to him that day. A spark that was the beginning of his journey down the darker path. A spark that I had helped to ignite. I've had very few regrets in my long years, but one question haunts me. Did I choose the right pupil that day? I don't understand. You said my father was the best. 
Your father was a great Shane, and would have been without my help. But Black? Uh, perhaps I could have stopped him from taking the dark path that he chose. She'd really do it? Train Black's right-hand man? I have to win now. We can't afford to let her secrets fall into Black's hands. With those and his ghoul arsenal, Dr. Black could be unstoppable. But that's not what worries me the most. Then what does? She may have already made her choice. You've each proven yourselves worthy. This isn't a duel, it's an assessment. The judgment is mine alone. Begin. You're not winning this twist. You never know, Eli. Really, Twist? Again with the holograms? <laughs> Master, but good enough. Huh? Hello, Master. It's been a while. Hands where we can see them, please. If you're after the Master's secrets, you can forget it, Black. Huh. Please. I've surpassed such banalities. This arcane ritual holds but one purpose. To prove who is best. I just did, when I took down your apprentice. Don't believe everything you see. Fine. I'm down for a rematch with either of you. You're an arrogant gnat, Eli. One I will swat in due time. But there is one here who is worthy of my attention. Today, I shall demonstrate my superiority by beating the unbeatable master herself. You have nothing to prove, Thaddeus. But if this will bring you peace, I accept your challenge. Careful, master. He fights dirty. And his ghouls are... It will be okay, Knockneys. What is that thing? A Gatler. But no one's ever been able to build a working model. There's another way, Thaddeus. A better path. Let me teach you. You no longer offer anything I would find useful. And the name's Black! Dr. Black! Twist! Is that the best your pathetic art can muster? Surrender, Thaddeus. It's never too late to make the right choice. <laughs> Forgive me, Thaddeus. I did not want it to come to this. Like, the pure combination of slug powers. A fusion shot? I thought that was impossible. It's over. No! <laughs> Doc! Can you... It's... 
too late. I'm... I'm sorry. Don't be. You are a true shame. You can bring the peace to the caverns. You just have to find it in yourself. One last mystery. Well done, Twist. You played your part commendably. Those wounds will heal. She's gone. I didn't think you... Her time was up. I will give you all the training you'll ever need. Move out! No. Excuse me. I said no. No more. You will never hurt another innocent person and just walk away. <sighs> I just defeated the greatest slinger who ever lived. What chance do you have? Make you move. the wrong guy, Twist, and you know it. Lovely, Pronto. Lucky for us. It's the only song Pronto knows. I feel like I'm better for having known her. What next, Eli? Now you'll never be trained by the Master. You'll never learn her secrets. The Master might have taught me more. But my slugs and I can figure it out on our own. And when we do, Black is going down for good. Too bad about her blaster. There would have been a powerful weapon against Black. It's okay, Cord. I have some ideas for one of my own. We'll need it if I'm ever gonna pull off that fusion move again. Black is up the ante with that new blaster of his. Now it's our turn. We're taking the battle to Black, and we're not stopping. Not until every ghoul is cured. Not until we stop Dr. Black and his plans once and for all. <laughs> okay. Now we can see what we're chasing. Which is? I've never seen anything like it. But since Black's moving it, my technical analysis would be... Big machine that does bad stuff. You guys really didn't bring your A-game, did you? Hey, wait! These guys aren't using any ghouls! Huh? Why would Black be skimping on the ghouls? Huh? Undertow Cavern? I didn't know it had a land-based entrance. Well, all that matters is, they're running out of land. You got nowhere to run! You guys ready to surrender now? to say it, but that was kind of awesome. So, what do we do now? You put your hands up, <sighs> princesses. <laughs>
you have some brass showing your faces again in my cavern? I wouldn't do that. We're only here because you're letting Black transport stuff through the cavern sea. <laughs> you think I'm working with Black? Oh, that's rich. Thanks to him, I'm not working with anyone. Not even my own crew. Right. Stay alert, guys. They're probably gonna jump out any second. No, this is no trick. My men have been snatched away. By Black? By Brutal, the scurvy rat Black hired to build a deep water drill at the bottom of my cavern sea. Of course, Brutal needed some underwater breathers to help him do that. So the treacherous savage captured me crew. Why would Black... Dark water. He's looking to hit pay dirt by drilling into the deep caverns. That's why he's limiting the use of ghouls. He doesn't have enough dark water left to create new ones. Well, no. You want to stop that ring, and I want to crush Brutal and free my crew. Well, say we help each other out, eh? That's what you shanes do, right? Help people? Yeah, like we would ever... Tell me you aren't buying this, E. I know we can't trust Drake, but if we stop Black from getting more dark water, we might be able to put him out of business. So, we got a deal? Deal. In that case, I hope you know what you're signing on for, because to do this, you're gonna need to follow me all the way to the bottom. In that? Of course not. You're gonna use what's inside her. I see your ship is just the way we left it. You got lucky in your first battle at sea. Now hop to and fetch me those princess. Let's get something straight here. I'm not your servant or your princess. Oh my, it's the leader of the Shane Gang. Too important to fetch a little tiny sack. How about you then, Moleface? Hop to like old times, eh? After the way you treated me when I was your cabin mole? Never! Now. If perhaps you were to offer me a promotion, say to first mate, or... Why don't we each grab our own, huh? What do you think, Burpee? You guys ready to get wet? <laughs> so, how does this stuff work? Dive suits will provide your gillless landlubbers with an air supply and help you move through the water. <laughs> Sweet! You'll need it to keep up with me and me Mimki down here. Just remember to keep an eye on your air gauge. If you run out in the deep blue, it's... <laughs> yeah, 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 we get it, we get it! <laughs> hey, those guys look just like you, Beaker. Aw, shy little guys. Not shy, smart. Maybe if we stay still, they'll go away. Yeah, and maybe our barnacle will dance a jig for you. Yeah. Ah! Arm yourselves! <laughs> Most slugs aren't gonna reach velocity underwater like that. You've got to use a torpedo shell. Torpedo shell? <laughs> Don't tell me you dirt scrubbers have never used a torpedo shell before. Burpee and I got this. I doubt an infernus will be any good down here, princess. No, no, no time for a torpedo shell! Use your aqua beak! He doesn't need a 
a torpedo shell? You have a lot to learn about slinging slugs out the water, princess. Huh? Cord, I thought you hated the water. How are you? Fighting helps me forget I'm swimming. <laughs> Why, you just reminded me. Thanks. Ah! All right, guys. Circle up and cover each other from all sides. What are you doing, you county cunt? You'll never beat these things as a scaredy ball. Now break up and spread out! Stop giving us orders. You're not our captain, and we're not your crew. You couldn't even handle a cavern shark without me. So unless you and your chums want to be tough... Come on, guys! What was that? Who cares if it got rid of the sharks? Eo, do realize that if the sharks are scared of it, it has to be scarier than the sharks. That's the huge machine we were chasing. Only now it's part of an even huger machine. What is that? That's the drill. Looks like they haven't hit dark water yet. And who's that? Let me guess. That's Brutal. Aye. That's my brother. <laughs> Your brother? Yes. I know it's hard to tell because I'm so much better looking. <laughs> they think he spotted us. Take the tower! Smash my brother in the face! You want another shot? Okay, buddy. <laughs> this years ago, when you stole from your own blood. That's a load of bills! I never stole from you. The Drakes have never stolen from family until you took my crew. It's not stealing when you offer more gold, and they decide to take it. It pays much more for our loyalty than you ever did. <laughs> yeah. You traitorous leech lickers! Anyone else get the feeling that there's actually no one to save here? No, you don't! I think you're starting to like it down here. Will you stop reminding me where we are? There! Quick! Now's our chance! Follow me! Get Brutal! No! We're heading for the high ground to take out the rig. Oh, no, you're not, princess. You're gonna listen to me. Let's go. Drake's good. Huh? <laughs> this way, quickly! That is if you don't mind taking orders from me. You know nothing of the perils of the deep, yet you continue to endanger your crew by defying my orders! Thank you for your concern, but when this crew has an issue, we will take it up with our captain, which is not you, good sir. And while we're on the subject of crews, yours wasn't captured. They left you. This is all some sibling rivalry thing with Brutal. You lied to us about everything. Of course I lied. I'm a pirate. Yeah. 
But I was telling the truth about wanting to get my brother. I need you to get what I want, and you need me to get what you want. So if we can work together... Dude, we already tried that, and we ended up here. Because I didn't listen to him. Because we can't trust them. I know, but we're out of our element down here, and this is our shot to really hit Black where it counts. I know working with Drake is a huge risk, but he's got skills we need. I think it's worth it. <laughs> Real predicament you lot got there, eh? I'd be happy to chat about it all day, but you can't. We're with you, Eli. Always. Good choice, because I have a fantastic plan. Oh, smile, princess. You'll like this one. It involves us splitting up. Court? There. If we can get that vent open and fire some sploders in there, that should bring the rig down. But first, we have to take out Black's henchmen, which shouldn't be impossible if Drake does his part and handles his brother and the pirates. Well, at least we have an insurance policy to make sure he does. Why does Pronto have to hold this thing? Because I'm a captain, and you're the first meet. And I did... Oh, you did promote me. Now release that thing, old face. Face, but this is between me and my brother. It's now or never. So, have you come to beg for forgiveness for stealing from me when we were lads? You're gonna kiss my fist with that lying mouth! I never took anything from you! Oh, yes, you did. Did not! Did you? Did, did not! You did. did not! All right, Cord. Let's get that vent open. Take a stole from you! My Mimki! What? I didn't steal him! You gave him to me for my birthday! I did? You know, you lied. I did! So now what? Let's bring this thing down! No longer a need for that, princesses! <laughs> I wouldn't want to harm the drill now it's so close to hitting dark water. And belongs to the Brothers Drake! Well, if it's any consolation, I fully intended to stick with our plan. But a better offer came along. That's just how pirates roll. <laughs> you should have learned that much about us by now. Oh, I have. Which is why I'm offering your crew ten times their pay to join me. Mm, really? Nope. Sick of boys! I was gonna see that! The drill could hit dark water any minute, and it doesn't look like Drake's in the mood to give us fresh dive suits with more air. We gotta get that vent open now! I got just the mod for the job. Cover up! Uh -oh. <laughs> 
I've got this one, brother. Won't be hard. This princess is hopeless down here without me telling him what to do. I'm a pretty fast learner. <laughs> Nice move there! Taking cover and grasping seaweed! <laughs> Spurfy, I know you want to help, but your fire doesn't work down here! Spurfy, wait! Where are you? Uh uh. Drop it, princess. Nice to see you finally take an order properly. Care to do the honors? With pleasure. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Not him, them kids. <laughs> Take more than the hop rock to bring it down. We need something that can pull it from the inside and collapse it on itself. I tell you, if this weren't so exciting, I'd be really freaking out right now. You think you can do it? Okay, Baker. <laughs> Taking out Blackstrow was important, but nothing's more important to me than this gang, including you, Beaker. I'm sorry. have their hands full for a while. Mimki! Come here, here! They all look the same! Ignore the ones with punch marks in them! Mimki! Not this one! Come here, you! Nothing personal! Ah! 